can I just do a, this is serious. I, Steph, you don't have to keep this in, but you'd be doing the, the community a favor. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today it's midweek, it's Thursday and it's the second Thursday of the month which means only one thing, it means Ace Cafe. Oh, I'm loving this little thing. As you guys can see I am back in the 695 Rivali. Thank you, you're letting me through. I'm back in the 695 Rivali and uh, it doesn't get tiring being in this stunning, stunning cabin. I'm really I really like the interiors of the of the Series 4s and that Akrapovich exhaust doesn't get old. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what's going on uh, and I'll see if there's any Bath owners there and I'll ask for their opinions or what they think of the Bath 695 Rivali. So without further ado, let's make our way down there and see what's going on at Ace Cafe. Right, so we've got inside now, some nice cars have turned up. One of the things I want to ask is, uh, a couple of friends here around the table is, what they think of the 695 Rivali. I did the same thing with the Biposto, we can do the same with the Rivali. So, there's a few familiar faces around here that you may recognise. Mr. Adam, how are you today? Evening, Steph, how are you? Very well, very well. So, you've seen the 695 Rivali? I, I have. When when they first put it out, I didn't like it. Didn't like the whole Reva thing, so it was all very affected. When you see it in the flesh, the colour's fantastic love the blue and the interior for me the interior makes it nicest i know it hasn't got say belts but it wouldn't work with say belts and i think as i said to steph uh, i would go as far as having the wooden dash yeah. i would go full full captain pugwash i love it i love it yeah. i think it's lovely i think i prefer the cabriolet to the coupe i know you said you like the coupe yeah uh, I don't know, I think I think I could be seen in Port of Venus yeah. driving through. It's very nice, yeah, very nice. It is, it is. What about, what about you, Mr. Grant? Grant? What do you think? Is this my good side? This is your good side. What do you um, think, Rivani? Without sort of basically just saying the same thing that Adjis just said, every, every fibre of that car's been has been geared towards that sort of overall sensation. Yeah, the Viposto yeah. was an extreme for the track, this one's an extreme for the harbour. Yeah. It, it's not dressed up to be a supercar, it's not dressed up to be something luxury, it's kind of jack of all trades as a pretty all round being really, isn't Stay it? Stay on the car, it's not on the side Stay on the car. <laughs> oh, and I love the Super Sports. Yeah. I think the silver yeah. Super Sports yeah, they, they make, make the car. But yeah, I love it. Yeah, what do you too. think? So I've always been a fan of it. I think I did a, um, I did an overview of it in videos far back, and you guys have all seen that. But I'm just a fan of it. I think for me, it, the boat theme is kind of hit and miss with a lot of people. I really like it. I really love that kind of brushed aluminium star panel at the back. I think it really works personally. Um, I like the wheels. I like the exhaust. The Akrapovich exhaust sounds really good as well. I think that works really well. Um, but I agree with you with the piece around if you're in Monaco or Porta Bonus or somewhere. 
I'm trying to take this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to make this serious, guys. Do you know what it is? I tell you what it was. I'm getting, I got, I'm getting sick. Well, I was getting sick and tired of a bar bringing out special editions because I just, it's kind of like these cars are so popular. Do you really think that you've got to keep bringing special editions out for people to buy them? I mean, I think the current cars are as good as the original cars that came out in 2008, 2009. So I wanted to dislike it because it was another special edition. And it was kind of like, how many times do you want to reinvent the wheel? When I got over myself, and you see it in the flesh, it's definitely, definitely, definitely one of the better looking cars. Because it's one of the few where they've done something really bespoke. And that's, I think, what makes it. Now you can buy, basically, a track prepared car with a dog ring gearbox. You can buy a sort of a, 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 a yacht edition. You can buy one that you can nip to the shops in to have a bit of fun. You can buy sort of the jack of all trades, which is the competition only 180. Uh, you can have something that's a little warm, but not as full hot hit, sort of heat. You have the Turismo. You know, there's been loads of different editions across the time. The Tributo. What if a bar the bar bought out a Grand Kenyan edition? That in a it would be come down and tow it away now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it would be a static demo, yes. uh, for sure. Um, yeah, come back to me on that one. I've got to break this news to everyone. Uh, Grant has never had a car that's worked ever. <laughs> I'm a friend of his, but I feel it's important to say that it's never worked. But you know what? I think I think the irony is that. Uh, in most of my videos, whether they've been at Pro Alpha or they've been at A for Alpha, your car just seems to crop up there. It's like the ultimate static car. That's I mean, I know we've talked about, well, we're not we're definitely doing a video, yeah, are, yeah. one or two or whatever, and I'll touch a little bit on as to what's happened. Yes. But I would never let my car discourage anyone from buying in a bar. Like, we've had this discussion before. Yeah, it's yeah. nothing to do with the bar. Yeah. And it when was you are you going to update people on it? Is it like um, first, It's like episode nine of how broken is my car? <laughs> this is the next stage of broken. It's like some people have flower pots outside their front door. <laughs> Pro Alpha decided to just have a white bar. It did have some weeds underneath the engine bay. If you go on Google Images, no, Google Earth, sorry, and you go to Pro Alpha, there is actually a picture of like my skeleton outside the... Can we just have a serious right there? And I just do a, this is serious. I, Steph, you don't have to keep this in, but you'd be doing the, the community, community a favor. Chris Constantino, if you are out there, please come back. Nobody's gonna do anything. We've got to get this car fixed. And only you know where you put the end of the spanner in the engine. We've got to find it because it's killing us. So please, Chris, I, this is a ple I'm being serious. Nobody's gonna do anything. You're welcome. But we just need to find out where the rotten prawn is in the engine. Love you, mate. Uh, um, where do we go from there? So, uh, yeah, I think a lot more of this will all be explained in the video that me and Grant do yes. eventually when we get the car back on the road. So, Rivale, final thoughts, yay or nay to the Rivale? Yes or uh, no? Definitely, 100%. 100%, yes. 100%. Yeah. 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 Yay or nay? Yeah. Yay or nay? My wife loves the seats. You what? Jesus. My wife loves the seats. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a yes from two of you, great. Finally, Grant? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Guys, yes or no for the Rivale? It's Steph, by the way. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. To me, being, being, uh, having Punto blood going through my veins, yeah. it's going to have to be a nay for me. Okay. It's, that's purely because I'm massively biased. That's fair. <laughs> we'll take that. So, yeah, so it's good. Good to see a lot of the guys as well. So, obviously, for you guys, I'm not entirely sure when I've released this video, but I did promise you I'd be bringing bring in a bath content. And I told you I'd still stay close with all of these guys. So I made some really good friends amongst the community, and that won't change. So overall, good friends. Good friends. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, it's a yes for the Rivali. And also, we're going to end the video slightly different today because I'm going to hand the camera over to uh, Mr. Grant Kenyon, who's uh, fast becoming a very popular figure. Welcome to GKAB. <laughs> now the channel's getting real. Um, there's going to be various things. Is this how you do? Various yeah. things here, and maybe here, and. Here, maybe here. Um, just sign off from the video, mate. Oh, bye. <laughs> so, 
uh, from all of us. <laughs> I can't spit the camera. Um, a Revali inspired protein shake for Grant Kenny. <laughs> I give up, honestly, I really do. I'm going to see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching over here for Instagram if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Right, so we've got inside now. I hope you've enjoyed the car show. So I'm absolutely. <laughs> and also. <laughs> so basically, what he was trying to do is say, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to like, share. I swear none of us have been drinking. Honestly, we, well, we have safe to drive home. Yeah, this is like the, honestly, the, these, the productions of these that I've seen, and this is just a complete mess.